Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Aries who are watching. So if you have Aries as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Aries, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get into your reading, Aries, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Aries, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Aries, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. First, we're going to go ahead and pull some situation oracle cards to see what energy you're dealing with currently when it comes to love. Can we please get a few cards for Aries when it comes to love and their person? What energy do we have for Aries? We have crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. What else do we need to know for Aries when it comes to love? What energy is coming their way? We have waves. Emotions coming, going. And we'll just get one more card, please, for Aries. Okay, we're going to go ahead and reshuffle, but two cards did come out at once. We have Entrapment, Pregnancy, Money, Heartstrings. We also have Divine Feminine that came out. This card right here, both of these cards, they can resonate for you, Aries. We'll, we'll actually keep this one and I'll tie it into the other energy that we do have, but let's get one more specific message, please, for Aries. What else do we need to know, please, for Aries? Once again, two cards came out. We'll take one. We have Drama Queen, Thirsty, Causing Chaos. We'll keep this one, and that's Roller Coaster, Highest High Adrenaline Rush. So we have Crushed, Sad, Broken, Feeling Alone, Waves, Emotions, Coming, Going, Entrapment, Pregnancy, Money, Heartstrings, and Roller Coaster, Highest High Adrenaline Rush. Okay, so Aries, so... I feel like you're getting to know someone or there's a, someone already in your life and they might be bringing these these energy these energies into this or this energy into this connection sorry about that but of course not everything has to resonate for you Aries I I feel like this connection has its ups and downs but even when you two are experiencing a low moment you're you're still optimistic about it, Aries. You you still have hope. Like I, I feel like you just brush it off and you you know that you two will get through it. Or maybe there are some things that come in the middle of this connection and you find them petty and you see through it. Like this is not worth destroying or ruining our connection so I feel like you are the type to move past it Aries but maybe something has really got your hopes down because you you feel like there is not much else that could come from it it might be a situation where what could be done to fix this and make it go away and you could make it go away but at the same time it will always be there maybe similar to that saying like I could I can forgive, but I, I can't forget. So maybe something happened and it will always be on your mind no matter how how far you move away from it with this person. So we have roller coaster, highest high adrenaline rush. I feel like this is maybe an overall energy for this connection. 
when you two are on good terms, things feel limitless with this person. But even experiencing those low moments together, you, you know that it, not the law, it's not, I'm trying to think of what it's called, but I think it's, it's maybe the, the law of rhythm or something like that. What's, what comes up must go down and what goes down must come up. So you know that you two, like what happens in this connection, it's not always going to stay constant. Like you're, you're accepting of the battles that you might face between or with this person. We have waves, emotions coming, going. I feel like this is in relation to this roller coaster card going through the motions with this person, feeling how you feel. Um, perhaps that, or in some moments you feel better than, than other moments, but at the same time you, you see why you're in this connection with this person. But then we have crushed and entrapment. I feel like something may have taken place where it might be hard to see the the end goal with this person. We have entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Something is maybe weighing heavy on your heart with this person, something that has to be addressed, has to be confronted, and maybe it revealed something else on this person's side that you didn't know about before. And we have crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. I feel like this is your energy, Aries. Maybe this person was deceptive or they deceived you. You thought you you and this person were forever or you two, like the loyalty was, was at an equal standing here, but they did something to really jeopardize it. So you, you can't believe in them anymore. Only take what resonates for you, Aries. We're going to go ahead and reshuffle, but we have to have and experience your love is an honor. Let's pull some specific cards, some specific messages for Aries. What's going on for Aries when it comes to love? What energy do we have for Aries? And what energy is making its way towards Aries when it comes to love, please? All right, let's get two more specific messages, please, for Aries. What else do we need to know? Okay, um, we have, I've never had such strong feelings like this before. We're only going to take one of these cards and I will always have respect for you up closer from afar. We'll read that card as an extra message and keep that first one. Can we please get one more card for Aries? All right, so we'll go ahead and leave it at that for now. Let's get through these cards. We have... You will find, or you will soon find out everything. You will soon find out everything, Aries. We have, I've never had such strong feelings like this before. Natural beauty. I want you to love me like you did before. I'm not far behind. And I always cared about you more. So Aries, I feel like with this person, if you're trying to detach or separate yourself from this person, it's hard to because of maybe the history or the raw and genuine love that you had for this person and that you once felt from them. And as much as you maybe tried to keep this together, Aries, I feel like it might be wearing on you or you, you really feel how you feel. Like you're in tune with your emotions, so you can't just be all like put up a, a front and act like everything's okay because you're consistently being shown or reminded that it's not okay. Maybe there is something that is be, being, excuse me, maybe there is something that is being covered up by this person. Um, and I apologize if I am out of breath. I am a bit under the weather right now so sorry if I'm like dragging on my words but um you you might feel or maybe there is something that is being hidden or swept under the rug and 
you feel like something's up but this person has not really expressed anything towards you or they might be acting as though there's nothing wrong but you could feel it Aries so let's go ahead and get into these cards one by one first we'll start with natural beauty I feel like this is a card for you Aries definitely how this person feels of you or feels about you just a beautiful person you don't have to try hard Aries also your your presence your energy it calls for attention you might not even demand attention you you just get it because you are a natural beauty inside and out Aries so this is for you we have I've never had such strong feelings like this before I feel like this is also your energy Aries this was the person that you you were okay considering them your one and only for forever like someone who you felt like you can expand with like every every day with them is a great day like someone you you never got tired of like someone you could learn from grow with um and someone who did not limit you so with that i feel like you put your all into this person like as as far as on your side aries there was no no need for this person to doubt your efforts, your loyalty, because you were there for them. We have, I want you to love me like you did before. I feel like this is your energy, Aries. Maybe something is up as far as this person's demeanor, demeanor their behavior. And it's, it's easy for us to recall what used to take place and what's not taking place now. So maybe this person has been neglecting you and not offering their presence their time and their emotion and maybe at once you gave them the, the benefit of the doubt and you were understanding towards it but if you've already expressed this to this person like why don't you do this for me or it would be nice if you if you didn't forget about the small things if if you've already told them about that and they they don't do it um then maybe that goes to goes to tell you that they don't want to do it or it's not on their mind um but also keep in mind Aries that people will do things out of their out of them just wanting to do it to make you happy to make to please you so nothing is too much Aries especially when it goes or when it comes to your love putting it out there accepting it from someone so I want you to love me like you did before. We also have, I always kid about you more. I feel like this is your energy, Aries. And you might be the one trying to make this connection work and doing the, the, the big things, the small things to keep this afloat. Um, and you, you might feel like this person does not care. We have, you will soon find out everything. I feel like this is an overall energy. Maybe the, maybe whatever is coming in between this connection or if there is something that you don't know about, I, I feel like it will come to light. It could be from this person. Maybe it's it'll just happen or be exposed on its own. For my Aries that are in separation, we have I'm not far behind. I feel like this is this person's energy, them resurfacing, popping back up. But let's see what else we need to know here for Aries when it comes to this person and this connection, please. Let's get one more card, please, for Aries. What else do we need to know? All right, so let's take these last few cards. I want to know everything there is about you. You're a mystery to me. Taurus also had this card in their reading. We have, I needed time to execute my thoughts correctly. And I haven't been the most honest, but my feelings for you were never a lie. Okay, Aries, so I want to know everything there is about you. You're a mystery to me. I feel like this is your energy towards this person. If they've been acting suspicious or like it's like you're getting to know a different person now, I feel like that makes you question what do they really have going on? Who is this person in a way? Like, because I feel like this attitude or this energy change happened out of nowhere. So maybe they were trying to g gain your love, Aries, 
and that's why they were applying pressure before or in the first place and now that they have you you're starting to see their true colors and that's if what they're showing you now is their true colors maybe there's something going on that they shouldn't be treating you coldly regardless Aries but maybe there's an explanation for all this but I, I feel like this is your energy in the sense that you you are maybe questioning who is this person I really got to know we do have I haven't been the most honest but my feelings for you were never a lie perhaps there is something that this person hasn't told you or they they kind of tiptoed around the subject they didn't give you the full information about something for some of my Aries, you could be dealing with a third party, and a third party isn't always a person. It could just be anything that comes in the middle of this connection. So only take this how it resonates, but I, I feel like this person sees you for who you are, but as far as reciprocating that energy, being truthful, being loyal, if that's the energy you put out, they were immature in the sense where they, they didn't give you that, that same... Um, that same... that same matchup in energy if that makes sense if you know what i'm trying to say aries we have i needed time to execute my thoughts correctly i feel like this is this person's energy if they have been becoming distant i feel like you will soon find out everything that applies to them expressing what's been going on or at least being closer or more open to towards you as they once were um and this might be something that sounds good to you or something that you don't want to hear Aries but I, I feel like they know that they left this on a cliffhanger on, yeah on a cliffhanger um, and it's up to them to address this in the right way if if they have that respect for you and they should Aries and if they don't then that's not what you deserve let's see what sign you might be dealing with can we please get a sign for Aries we have Scorpio Virgo, let's get one more sign for Aries, please. We have Leo. All right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.